Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. In the spirit of the changes I've recently made to the channel, I'm kicking it off by giving an update on one of my favorite AI artists that I've been following since, well, the channel started. So this person is Scotty Fox, and Scotty Fox is an ML research engineer first. Um, he's moved around a little bit. He's been very active in the D forum community, which is one of my favorite sort of underground stable diffusion forks. And recently, he's started his own shop, um, Blockade Labs, and I wanted to give you all an update on what work that's resulted in. So as you know, I've covered a fair bit of Scotty's work previously on the channel. Initially, um, was one, this was one of his first demos using Stable Diffusion in conjunction with Touch Designer, which is a industrial sort of uh, commercial scale graphics program intended for large motion graphics, they have VR capabilities now. So what Scotty did was he took this and used Touch Designer as a basis for um, mapping sort of a VR environment, and then used Stable Diffusion to generate the environment that was actually being presented. And it was cool because you could turn around and you were in this dynamically generated environment that wasn't necessarily procedurally generated, but was being generated purely with Stable Diffusion. Some other projects I've covered that you guys weren't quite as interested in was his um, interactive project on Twitch. So he had a, a project called Tapestry, where I thought it was pretty cool. The idea was, you know, you could interactively generate flags. There was also a, still a heavy application of Touch Designer, which I still thought was cool. But um, yeah, so he's done a lot of wild stuff with this technology far outside of just creating pixel art or another kind of fine tuning platform or another shot at like a easier to use API for manipulating this technology. Looking at his work going forward um, and sort of the intent and direction that Blocky Labs is taking, um, text to game is a really high level way of explaining that accurately. Now, what I want to look at with Blocky Labs is basically the next iteration of a lot of his early projects. So Blocky Labs is right now focused on a tool called um, Skybox AI. So the idea with this is in a single shot, say with a text prompt, which they call text to Skybox, you can um, prompt and theme an entire Skybox, which in terms of VR uh, or in terms of like a immersive environment, which some of this they also call Im immersive diffusion. Um, it's kind of cool because you in one shot in like 30 seconds, you can generate an entire environment and you can say, I want it to look like Minecraft. I want it to look like the Grand Canyon in the winter or a city. And they've basically filled in a lot of the gaps that Scotty's initial work had. And things are going really well. They were just added to the NVIDIA Inception program, which is a pretty elite set of startups that are doing things with VR and gaming relative to generative AI, which is pretty cool. And there are a ton of companies that are using this tool already. Uh, there are mobile apps that are using this to allow you to um, green screen yourself in real time in one of these skyboxes. There are NFT projects using it. There are, um, you know, projects that use Wonderbox that are, that are using this. And what I think is cool is it's even being used outside of gaming. Um, so for instance, this is a, an NFT podcast that's using uh, Blockade Labs tech to live generate their uh, interactive background, which is kind of cool. And um, what I think is cool is if you look at like the workflow that Scotty previously used, uh, going from stable diffusion to touch designer to then like a usable output. What I love about um, Skybox AI and Blockade Labs is they're focusing on narrowing the number of steps and the complexity in the pipeline to produce this kind of stuff. What previously would have taken, you know, 20 steps is now taking five steps. And I just love how simple the application of this stuff is. And what's awesome is this can actually run in your browser. And you know, another cool side note timing wise is that technically speaking, um, we're seeing a lot of really cool demos with what's called WebGPU, which is um, a Chrome integration that Google just released. And this allows you to directly pipe the power of a full GPU in your PC and have it show up in a browser. So again, like the browser UI is getting even faster. Um, but what's cool is you don't, you don't even have to worry about that if you use Blockade Labs Skybox. So this is an example of the, the raw map. So what's actually being produced. What 
is interesting is in mid journey, you can kind of trick it into doing this. If you set the aspect ratio large enough and you prompt correctly, uh, what you can't get it to do is have this, um, basically a perfect represent or as perfect a representation as, as I've seen of depth and um, phase shift. So by that, by phase shift, I mean the what's closer to you is moving different in re relative to like the exterior and what's outside of the windows. Um, and part of that is tricking the human brain and making that kind of an illusion. But others, you know, other parts of this are just pretty basic math. So what's also cool is you can prompt and then end up with a lot of cool particle effects. And I think this is a undersold feature of this kind of technology because, you know, it previously what lacked in uh, the touch designer stuff. So touch designer actually does particles quite well. But what's interesting is it means a lot more when it's in the context of true VR, right? Because VR is it's all about understanding your position relative to other objects and then understanding environmentally what's going on. So it's cool with touch designer or not touch designer. So it's cool with text to sky and skybox AI is the process of transitioning between a generated background and then also having particles that give you even more immersive context. That's all baked in. Um, granted, I don't know what models they're using. Uh, I assume there is a game engine layer of some kind here. Uh, I might, and at some point that might be released. But in the meantime, let's jump in and actually try this out. So you go to Blockade Labs, they, um, they'll show you a few of their con contributors. So Scotty isn't the only contributor. Uh, I'd like to think that he's the lead contributor. But uh, yeah, what's cool is this is running in real time. So we'll agree to this. And yeah, so this is not just an HTML animation. This is a live skybox. And what I think is pretty cool about these models is they nail a number of things that are just hard to get right. Like, for instance, if you wanted to get the sky right in Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, you could probably do that. But if you wanted it to be, uh, to, if you wanted that to interface with the environment, so basically you have you have a single sun, right? There is no double sun going on. Uh, it's context aware, so the sun is only shining on these sides of the mountains. You have trees and these little um, desert paths. Um, the one thing that this doesn't quite have yet is the ability to dynamically zoom. Um, that's probably coming soon. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of contextual awareness that I think would otherwise be really hard to nail if you were to try to just prompt this. Uh, now granted, this is still basically a really big distorted image that is just being cleverly displayed in a way that to humans uh, looks like we're you know, clicking around a 3D environment. But what's cool is uh, in about 15 seconds, we can take this from this digital painting angle or this theme to something um, really, really different. So let's just say we'll go to, I think this is the Minecraft one. Um, so we'll just say uh, Desert Valley. Okay, and now we will remix. And this is actually pretty quick. Um, I'm not sure how they're actually passing through GPU compute, but another thing that's been really cool to watch get even better over the last two months is uh, just the technical means to, to which you can just pull GPU power quickly. Um, it's very elegant now, and I'm sure there's maybe some caching going on here, but from an engineering perspective, that's a cool thing to see. And actually, wow, that's the first time I've seen this kind of screw. Okay, interesting. So there's the seam, if you were curious where that is. Uh, this is still in beta, so no worries there. But yeah, so this is um, this looks kind of like a Fortnite sort of a theme. But yeah, so what's interesting is you see uh, there's a sense of kind of the distance. We have uh, this really cool sand banding effect. And there we go. And what's cool is you even you still get trees and things. So there have been projects I've seen that do this before where you'll get nice looking terrain, 
but the sky looks all me just messed up and you don't actually get contextualized objects. So it's, so for instance, you know, there's this little bush here and you can see that based on where the sun is, we're getting a shadow on this, you know, the sand dune, which is actually like really hard to get right. Um, that's, that's awesome. And then in the concave areas of the dunes, you get more of this banding, which if, if you've ever been to like White Sands National Park, that's actually what it looks like. And let's try, let's try one more. So you can also do just, just sky. That's, that's another one. Uh, and let, let me just see, let's also deep jungle with a raging river. Let's see if we can use like this. And yeah, you can share these, you can download these. So if you want to use this in your own application, go right ahead. If you guys generate some really cool skyboxes, definitely leave them in the comments. Let's see. All right, still going, still working. Some of these themes take a little bit longer to render and hopefully it's more, oh wow. Well, now we know why it took so long to render. So look, so we have this incredible, like I didn't even prompt this and we got this crazy Aurora Borealis planetscape going on, pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, so more kind of, there are the trees. I guess this is the raging river. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is wild. This is actually one of the wilder ones I've gotten. So we have this kind of temple over here. That is super cool. Now, one thing I will say, um, I think these themes probably play into these prompts a little bit. I, I'd like to think that this is probably like a contextual prompt. And then when you use these, it, you're probably looking at some base weights with a prompt, then modifying this prompt. But, uh, cause I mean, obviously like part of the prompt here are, you know, celestial skies with pink and blue. And then we have these sort of temples in the background, but yeah, so uh, Skybox AI from Blockade Labs, incredibly cool new project. Uh, really cool to see um, Scotty really um, shoring up and delivering um, an even greater iteration on his initial work. Um, hopefully we continue to see really cool stuff coming out of here. There are a few projects that are derivatives of this that I'm actually going to be covering. And yeah, so if you guys like this, let me know. If you guys didn't like it, let me know. Um, as always, I hope you learned something. And a very quick plug, um, we're now working with TensorDoc. So if you want a, a bit of a discount on one of their GPUs, DM me or send me an email. And I'll put you in contact with uh, my contact there. They actually don't have an affiliate program yet. They're working on that. But uh, we're happy to help out some of these other small companies in the space. So yeah, as always, I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video.